partner to bring in Nigeria is that the moment you give companies or private persons an unhindered right to carry out the course of action, they end up taking advantage of it or abusing it. Now, in Nigeria, capitalism is indeed a counter a counter one that has eaten into our economy, into our social and political life. Now, in addressing this topic, which is addressing the gender figure, should affirmative policies be implemented to pay to achieve pay equity in the workforce? My answer is capital letters, yes. Now, this is because if you do not make general legislation that would regulate what companies should pay to their workers, you would have cases of companies trying to exploit their workers and perpetuating either workplace discrimination or workplace inequality. Now, most persons who own private companies believe that there should be a, a discrepancy between the efforts that men put into their work and efforts that women put into their work. And these companies don't even recognize things like uh, paid maternity leave and all of that. They try to disadvantage women on those basis. Now, if you have the government coming in with affirmative policies, making laws such as discrimination against uh, discrimination against disabled persons, that provides for disabled persons to be considered with increased salary to uh, help them manage their mental condition. This is an example of how legislation can play a vital role in ensuring that the pay work in companies are regulated so that people when they are promoted deserve when people are promoted, they can get the pay that they deserve so that nobody is unduly disadvantaged either because she's pregnant or he's paying his away in the hospital. These are some of the issues that legislation can help us to address. There's also the need to create awareness so that companies can know that even though they have the right to administer their workers, there are laws that bind them, there are laws that make demands of them that must be met. These laws will enable workers to, to uh, confidently demand from their, uh, their employers to pay them what is due to them. Because like they say, a work against work deserves a day's pay. So nobody should be disadvantaged, nobody should be discriminated against, and companies should not be left to administer or to uh, prescribe what they should pay their workers. It is the role of government, it is Thank the role you. of institutions to do so. Companies are perfect. There exist complete lacunas which can be addressed by the use of the station, and that is where the government comes in to say, okay, we are recognized that you have the right to administer your company. But when X, Y, and Z happens, look at the laws that should be put in place and look at the path that you should follow in achieving justice and fairness for all of your workers. Yes, we recognize that in the workplace and by in, um, inequality, but just as I earlier stated, the emphasis on pay equity. Equity means that all of the uh, circumstances will be considered and whatever method or approach is best suited will be followed. So if you have in the workplace persons who are not putting in enough effort or value to the company, of course this must be reflected in their salary to reflect the fact that they are not stepping up their game. When they see that other workers who are putting more value are being paid higher, they will step up on their game, you understand? And this of course will, will encourage healthy competition in the workplaces. So these are some of the concerns that the use of automatic payment equity policies will address. Thank you. Thank you. As it goes to say, Live with Pochima SAL. <laughs>